Welcome to Naresh High Technologies. This is Ram Chandra. In the last videos uh, I did cover like uh, Kamalayan argument as well as uh, Java dot util dot uh, scanner class reading the data from the keyboard as well as I did cover like uh, Java dot io dot buffered reader. By using this buffer reader we can able to read the data from the keyboard as well as files. Especially in this video I am going to talk about uh, how to read the data from the file by using java dot util dot scanner class. Now start our topic. Let me open command prompt. See up here util package nothing but here scanner class available in the util package java p java dot util dot scanner here this is the constructor related to scanner so, with the help of this constructor, we can able to read the data from the file. Now, let me highlighting this concept with the help of a program. Now, here I am taking one notepad, I am writing like uh, import java dot util dot scanner class. Now, developing one program like a scanner demo s yes, demo here I am taking. If you want to execute any program under core java level nothing but uh, java standard level we require mainly one method that is public static void main which contains uh, one parameter like a string array and uh, here I am taking one uh, input file like a file input stream file input stream fis equal to new file input stream this is the basic class to read the data from the files now so before writing the path here let me create one file on top of the desktop now i am taking one file new and uh, here one text document so here i am writing like a uh, test I am writing like test. Now, right clicking on this file, go to properties and copy this one, copy and paste here. And after that, what is the file name here? TST.txt. Here we need to write yes, TST.txt. Now, here we need to start with double quotes the reason is this is a, a string data now here i am taking one extra backslashes yes i am saving this file sd demo s demo dot java here hall files and i am saving on top of the desktop Yes, save it. Here I am using scanner class to read the data. Yes, scanner scan equal to new scanner. Here I am writing like FIS file input stream. Now, here I am using a method like a string s1 equal to scan dot next next line if i want to read the more than one uh, string from the file we are using next line method and saving and after reading the data from the file i am printing on the console system dot out dot println s1 system dot out dot println s1 guys uh, already we discussed in the last video that is with the help of the scanner class we can able to read the data from the 
keyboard as well as we can read the data from the files as well as we can read the data from the socket we can read the data from the socket with the help of what uh, scanner class already we are, we are aware about uh, how to read the data from the keyboard by using the scanner class now especially this program highlighting about to read the data from the files let me compile this program yes java c stdemo.java now we will get one uh, a checked exception that is what uh, uh, file ox file uh, I O exception basically that is file not found exception and uh, I O exception. Uh, the reason is a uh, file input stream constructor throwing one exception. Uh, let me show that and uh, this excep uh, exception is belongs to import statement. So, first uh, let me avoid this uh, error import java dot import java dot I O dot file input stream yes. Now, let me show you this one file input stream constructor java p java p java dot i o dot file input stream file input stream yes. Now, this constructor throwing file input stream string throwing what uh, file not found exception this is the checker exception we need to handle maybe to handle purpose uh, we can use the throws keyword or we can use what uh, try and catch block here I am just using throws keyword only uh, import uh, I need to first uh, import that uh, file nothing but uh, dot class file here file means that is uh, file not found exception yes file not found exception here I need to write uh, throws keyword throws uh, file not found exception yes file not found exception now object here uh, again uh, and compile the program yes so file input stream I uh, one small spelling mistake here so file input stream again and compile the program yes successfully compile it so, this is the these are the normal error, errors like uh, file input stream ended with the m ok. So, if the input statement is not correct uh, compiler unable to find out uh, this uh, uh, file input stream class this is the normal mistakes. Now, java c I need to execute this program java s demo java s demo. Now, observe here we will get uh, no such element exception no line found by intentionally I am highlighting this one the reason is observe here if you go to our uh, file where exactly this is our file. Now, if I open this file I do not have any data in this file I do not have any data. So, here uh, I am writing like uh, Naresh I technologies Naresh I technologies here I am writing the data. Naresh I technologies. Now, let me save this one again let me uh, execute this program then you can uh, find out the result yes Naresh I technology by intentionally I highlighted this exception no such element exception everybody practice liking about uh, entering the data from the file and reading if you are not entering nobody gets it that is why I am highlighting this exception java dot util dot no such element exception. So, here the reason of the exception no line found no line found means I am not writing anything there itself yeah this is the way to read the data from the files by using the scanner class. So, here I covered up to uh, two things one is the java dot uh, util dot scanner class how to read the data from the keyboard as well as how to read the data from the file. In the next video we are going to be talk about uh, remaining concepts like uh, console, console as well as data input stream and get property. I hope you enjoy this video for more videos please subscribe Naresh IT channel thank you. Mm -hmm.